Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Covenant Cuisines. I'm your host, Chef Ken, and today we're gonna pay a tribute to our own fathers with some nice succulent lamb. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so here we are. We got our uh, ingredients laid out. So we're gonna be making a nice lamb. We're gonna have a uh, twist on it with a little bit of Italian and also a little bit of Mediterranean, okay? So what we have here is our American lamb ready to go with our pearl Israeli couscous. We have some already roasted pistachios. We also have our golden raisins with mint, our yogurt, and then balsamic vinegar. And then we also have our herbs. We're gonna use thyme and rosemary for these. Ladies, pay very close attention to this one because this is the easiest way to get those dads, husbands, all of those guys to be like, this girl know what she's doing. So I'm gonna walk you through this very slowly, very easily. It's real easy. All right, ladies, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with getting our lamb marinated. Okay, so let's take our lamb. Let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open, all right? So once you get him open, just add him into a nice mixing bowl. And then we're gonna cover him with olive oil, the balsamic vinegar, and then we're also gonna cover it with the herbs that we have, okay? So let's do some olive oil, okay? Our balsamic vinegar, a couple of dashes to do that. Then make sure we add our salt. Of course, we still need to season everything during the marinating process. Pepper. You can kind of be generous with the pepper if you want to. And then we're gonna take our herbs. Let's take our rosemary. Rosemary is a very strong herb, so we won't need to add a lot of it. Just maybe like one or two twigs. And you can cut these guys in half, just like that, okay? Let's take one more and break it in half. And then we're gonna add in our thyme. Now thyme is a very soft herb, but it has so much uh, so much aromatic, so much flavor to it. You know, very nice soft herb. I like these on my eggs, like we talked about in another episode. But this is very, very good for a lamb as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that in there. Then the best part, go ahead and get your hands dirty. Let's just mix him up really nice like that. So let's get that mixed up to where each piece is covered with the marinade. And then we're just gonna set that over here. All right, let that marinate at room temp so everything can sink in, soak in. Now let's go ahead and start cooking our couscous. So we got our water in like a nice simmer, close to a boil. And what we're gonna do now is start to season our water. So let's go ahead and add in the salt. And rule of thumb, as I always say, you want the water to taste like the sea. You want it to be very, very nice and seasoned. So now we're just gonna add our couscous in. Like that and couscous cooks very fast. So we're gonna treat this very carefully once it begins to cook close to al dente. Al dente means to the teeth. So the pearls are actually gonna, we're gonna try them as they go by. And as we try it, it's gonna get stuck into our teeth. So that's what al dente means. Once that texture's done, we're gonna cool it and then we're gonna have to recook it again once we add in our other ingredients. All right, so let's just let that cook generally for about 10 minutes. You can stir it around for a little bit just to make sure everything begins to permeate and go through. Okay. So now that our couscous is cooking, let's jump over to our cutting board and let's cut some uh, mint for our mint ratio. All right, so we got our couscous cooking and now we're gonna take our mint and we're just gonna rip up a couple of pieces. So this is gonna be very important to kind of add a little bit of accent to our couscous. So you wanna take our mint leaves and you just wanna pick the leaves off. You don't want any stems on there. You just wanna take just the leaf. The leaf has all of the flavor that we need for that. But you're gonna have that little accent that's gonna be on there as you eat it. You're gonna taste the nice effervescent cutting through the couscous, cutting through the raisins, cutting through with the uh, pistachios as well. So just keep that in mind. So you wanna take off a little bit about that much. And then it doesn't matter what kind of cut you do with this. You can even rip it. Just kind of pass your knife through it, just like that, okay? All right, now let's just add that into our bowl here, okay? 
Now it's time to drain our couscous and get ready to cook the lambs, okay? All right, ladies, so we're almost done. Now it's time to cook the lamb T-bones. Now this is the great part. So we got our pan sitting right here. We got to let, we're letting it get to about medium high heat. And let's go ahead and add in our olive oil. Okay, so add a nice generous amount of olive oil. As the oil begins to get hot, you see it moves freely around. So you want to let that get up to temperature. You know, once we add the oil in, it has to catch up to the temperature. Let's go ahead and carefully add our lamb T-bones. When you add it into a pan that has very high heat, make sure you add away from yourself. You don't want to add to yourself or you will easily, you know, have a kitchen mishap. We don't need that, especially while you're cooking for you. Especially while you're cooking for the love of your life, your husband. Here we go. Add that in. Let me get a nice sear on one side. Okay. All right, make sure we got our heat turned down. Not too high, because with the marinade that's on there, we don't want to scorch what's on there, okay? All right, so just add a little bit of salt to one side, just like that. Then a little touch of pepper. All right, so now we're just gonna let that cook. As you begin to see it cooks, you'll know when it's ready to flip. You'll see like a nice, brown crust on the side of the lamb and that'll let you know that it's starting to caramelize. The heat from the marinade that's on there is going to caramelize on top of the lamb and then I'll let you know when it's time to flip. Remember we just want to sear because we're going to finish this in the oven. Okay? One thing I always like to say whenever you're cooking something you don't have to continue to touch it because it won't move any faster. It won't cook any faster. It won't cook any. It definitely cooks slower but it won't cook any faster by continuing to move what's inside of the pan. So now as we begin to look, we see there's caramelization forming on one side. Let's go ahead and get a flip, see what we're looking like. Oh yeah, see that? Just like that. Good sear. Good sear, I'm already proud of you guys already because I know y'all done a good job. Boom, let that sear get on the other side and then we're gonna take this entire pan we're gonna throw it into the oven, okay? So yeah, let that cook just a little bit. Now we're gonna take it off, and we just see what we have here. It's just beautiful. You can smell all of the aromatics coming out. You can smell the rosemary, you can smell the thyme. You can definitely smell the balsamic vinegar, but you get, remember how it had that nice, like very tangy acid smell? We're now starting to smell very sweet. That's the caramelization part we're talking about. That's when you let everything do its part. So let's go ahead and get that in the oven, okay? All right, ladies, so we got our lamb in the oven. You're gonna let that sit in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. Also, it's very important, depending on the preference that your husband likes it, you know, anything medium rare, we're gonna set, set in there for about three to five minutes, medium 10 minutes medium well to well done, 15 plus, okay? So it just depends on what he likes. So as we got a pan going, let's go ahead and add some oil in. Be very generous with that oil, okay? So we're actually gonna do this kind of backwards. We're not gonna add the couscous in. We're gonna add in the pistachios, kind of get those toasted, get the smell out of them. Then we're gonna add in the raisins. And then that's when we add in everything else, okay? So we got our pistachios, raisins. So let's go ahead and add in a nice handful pistachios, just like that. I'm just gonna kind of mix that around. You begin to smell the pistachios as you, as they begin to cook, okay? Just add that around a little bit. And then let's go ahead and add in the raisins too. And always season every every layer that you add. Just add a little bit of seasoning to it, so therefore you don't have to add too much seasoning as you go. Remember, season to taste. Before he tastes this, make sure you taste this. 
okay? A little bit of salt and then just add some pepper. All right, then kind of just take your hand and waft the flavor, the smell. You'll begin to smell the pistachios start to roast. Then you begin to smell the golden raisins release its uh, juices into there. Should make like a nice, soft, sweet smell to it. Okay? Now once that's gone, and you'll see, as you begin to see, once the raisins begin to cook, you see how they begin to puff up now? They have like a, they, they begin to take on all the heat and everything, so they'll kind of puff up, all right? They almost blend in with the pistachios. All right, so now let's add in two generous spoons of couscous. You can just add another one if you want. And then let's turn our heat all the way down because we don't want the couscous to get stuck to the pan. We don't want to add any color to it, all right? Just give that a nice little shake, toss. All right, then best part right here. You can turn your heat off. Let's go ahead and add in our mint. And that's when everything comes together. Oh man. That smells like, smells like heaven. The couscous, so couscous is made of semolina wheat. So it's, uh, Actually, it's gluten-free. And then you have the mint to kind of add the effervescent, the sweetness of the golden raisins. Then you have the pistachios, kind of add in that earthy flavor. And then boom. Oh, let's set that right here. Now let's go grab our lamb and then we'll be ready to play. All right, ladies, now you're ready to paint. You're ready to paint your canvas. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we go. We have our lamb. We just pulled it out the oven. You want to give it a nice little touch and see what temperature you're at. Kind of feels like a medium going medium well. So if you're, if your husband, your man, your boo thing loves anything medium, medium well or plus like that, this is perfect for him. All right, so let's go ahead and add it on there. Gonna take them and you're gonna stand them up just like that. And you're gonna shingle these just like this, okay? To where they stand up. Elevation is key on the plate, all right? So when you do that, Take your couscous, and we're just gonna build around it, like so, okay? Nicely build around that here. And you just see like a little flower bed of couscous, and then you see the lamb just kind of breaking free from purgatory, just like that. I kind of tend to get carried away with terms but this is what it feels like to me when I'm cooking stuff like that. All right, we got that done. So now let's take our yogurt and then we're just gonna add it into a small bowl, okay? Then now we're gonna take some more mint. This is the mint ratio. So this is a small version of the mint ratio. You can either, the, if you love your preference, you like things more acidic, you can add a little bit of lime juice in here. If you want it just like plain, you can keep it like this with the mint. And you know, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy with this one, okay? But mint ratio is a very, very good thing to eat and it goes very well with the lamb. Let's add that in there. Let's add a little bit of olive oil to it, okay? Now, let's go ahead and mix that together. And then, great thing about this, we're just gonna add like little dollops in there. Like that, one dollop. Very rustic dish. You know, you got a rough, rugged man, make a nice, rough, rugged dish like that. Okay, here you go. Boom. Just like that. And that's very, very good. And then if you have any, and you have any more salt if you wanna add on it, we can just add a touch of salt. 
kind of season everything around just like that. And there you have it. You have your very own marinated lamb with a Rayleigh, with a Rayleigh couscous and mint ratio. What man wouldn't love something like this? All right, ladies, I hope you're proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of myself too. I'm proud I had the opportunity to be able to teach you something like this, to teach you a way from a man to a man's heart. Because this is something that, you know, a lot of women always want to ask about. They always want to know, you know, they say a best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But you got to know how to travel to the stomach. And that's one way I'm trying to tell you, like, which road to take, how to get there, the proper tools you need to get to the heart. You know, don't just go to the stomach and think that's going to be it. But we're going to teach you that. So now we're looking at the dish. It's ready. Here it is. You know, just present it to him just like this and just say, look, baby, look what I made for you. This is something that is great, you know, so we're gonna dig in and just check it out and see, you know, just carve into it to see what kind of meat we have and look at that. Yeah, see, that's a perfect medium, medium rail, medium well, medium piece right there. So it's gonna take that, perfectly cooked with the mint ratio and then the couscous. I can just feel how proud I am of you guys from right here. Because if it tastes like this, I know you ladies did a good job. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for allowing us to be fathers. Thank you for allowing us to be men. We appreciate it. And we love you for it. We'll see you next time.